So this movie is billed as a dark comedy thriller. I do think that it is more than that. This is Kicking and Streaming Podcast. So uh, today, my friends, we are actually reviewing a movie on Hulu. It is called Fresh. And for several reasons, I thought this movie should be, should have waited and come out on, on Halloween or near Halloween because it's going to be one of those movies that people are going to want to watch around Halloween time. It's not necessarily a terribly scary movie, but it's a proper thriller, isn't it? It's a proper, proper thriller. Mm-hmm. Right, Jojo? Yeah. So this this movie, I think, might be one of my favorite movies of 2022 so far. Yeah. And I think that it's it's really cool because you can there's there's two movies here and you can watch whichever one you want to. <laughs> so you, you can go with the, the straight dark comedy thriller and then you can also if you want to go with the complete satire and social commentary. And uh, I, I, I love that about this movie. So let's hear you, Jojo, uh, synopsize this movie for our audience and then we'll take it from there. Okay. So this movie is billed as a dark comedy thriller. I do think that it is more than that. And we'll, we'll get into that when we get talking about it, but uh, it has a really great cast. There's um, Daisy Edgar Jones, Sebastian Stan. There's a Jojo in it. (laughs) Jojo Gibbs, Andrea Bang is in it. It's an excellent movie. Uh, it starts as a as a, a thriller in the kind of your standard fare. Somebody trusts somebody that they shouldn't, and they they go to an area where they can't contact anybody, and then you know sh- shenanigans uh, in, ensue. Um, but there is a twist to this one, and uh, there is a uh, very interesting if you're if like i said this one is i i love because you can have two movies you can just take it for the straight thriller or you can really dig into this and get to the social commentary that's in it so uh but yeah i i i ended up liking this movie precisely because of of the way you see it there are more there's more than 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 one movie here if if you want to go that route there's social commentary there is a comical vein to it that you own you you really need to have a very fucked up sense of humor actually to like it and that's us right here (laughs) (laughs) you you know (laughs) sebastian has done his darndest to not be pinned as the winter soldier guy yeah do you know what i mean like he has gone out of his way to not being typecast as bucky and i love it <laughs> you know yeah it, and i think the the pam and tommy thing plus this movie are going to be what's going to really take him out of that realm of this is the dude that was bucky in captain america so so i love that about him because when you see him in other movies, you are actually able to see somebody else. Yes, yes. And that's all an actor needs, doesn't he? Yes, yes, exactly. I that's that's one hundred percent. Because I I didn't see Stan Sebastian. I saw this this character Steve. I saw Steve. Um, yeah. You know, and I mean, at the beginning of it, I was kind of like Bucky. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> but then, but then, you know, when we when we got when we get into the 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 meat of his performance, if you will, he was just so good at he he brought the arrogance of a doctor to life. I thought beautifully, um, without even really a huge amount of attention pushed towards it. Um, the kind of macabre humor that you see in in medical fields, I, I think we've got to say that, that this is this re- review is going to be full of spoilers. So if you haven't seen this movie, maybe watch it first. If you do, if you if spoilers bother you, if that's something. If that you believe you. in spoilers, if I you believe, yeah, I don't, I don't believe in spoilers. Right. Yeah, that's but. So they're, they're talking about, he's talking to Noah about the experience of, of eating human flesh for the first time. And they have this back and forth where she's mostly just asking him questions and he's pontificating. And he 
he's so good at it because it's almost like somebody, it made me think of somebody who talks about a really expensive wine that you can never afford or a really expensive car that you'll never be able to drive or like a religious experience that you'll never possibly have. And it was so fabulous. He nailed that speech so well. And, and the fact that he really didn't let her talk. He just talked the whole time about it and she's just looking at him. And it, 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 it was so many things to me, but that scene right there for me was just like, oh, this guy is fabulous. And, and, and this guy knows exactly what he's doing, right? Yes. But I also think that it's one of the most poignant social commentaries on this one. Because remember him saying, the people who consume these are the 1% of the 1%. And he basically says here, these are the people who, based on the money that they have, they go after the things that only they can have, that no one else can have. There's there's so many scenes that hit home. Um, it's been a really long time since I dated, but I have been alone in the world. And the whole, um, this, this is a scene where she's walking to her car and she's clutching her car keys and the Wolverine fist, we always call it, you know, the keys, the keys through the fingers. So you've got some kind of a weapon to knock somebody's eye out if they come after you. And you have those moments, you know, and then you have moments where you're truly terrified. And the date she has, the disastrous date she has with this pure misogynist. And then you have the commentary of... Of course, she's going to be interested in somebody who reaches out to you in real life because, and of course, you know, they're a charming person. And so I know that people were like, I, I read a few reviews online where people were like, why would somebody fall for that sort of thing? And I thought, well, one, this is someone who obviously knows their mark. They know what they're looking for, just like right. any other love scam. Right. And this is someone that has also realized that in a digital world of dating, having someone reach out in person is going to be a novelty and that's going to be interesting and exciting. And for the right kind of person, that's, that is exactly the way to reel them in and exactly the way to get them to your, your cabin in the woods. So I, I, I think that that is so, so perfect in the realm of scams in the realm of, of looking for love if you're a lonesome person. And I remember a part of the movie where I said to my wife, you know, technically he actually never lied to her as to, as to his preference. No. Because when she was like munching on those short ribs, she's like, you want some? He's like, no, I just don't eat animals. Yes. That's a very different way of telling the truth. You just have to be there to hear it. In, 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 after you know what you know, then it all makes sense. But he's being truthful. Yeah. I don't, yeah. I don't eat animals. Yeah. And then you, the, could, that... you could interpret that as, oh, you're vegan or something. Yes. <laughs> right. That's yes. the first thing that your mind is going to go to. Yes. But he wasn't saying that. He was just saying, man, it's another kind of meat that I prefer. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And that, you know, that also, I think, speaks to the state of mind that you're in when you're attracted to someone uh, is the fact that you're not necessarily questioning everything they say. Exactly. So when he said that, said that, you know, I, I, I don't eat animals and your first thought is not going to go immediately to, oh, vegetarian. Okay, cool. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. And she felt guilty and she was like, yo, dude, like you should have, man, I mean, come on, you know, because this is not your thing. Then, yeah. Of course, I could, I could make some certain conceptions for you. That's, yeah. you know what I mean? He's like, no, no, that's not, you know, but you're right. It, it's all about the state of mind, isn't it? Like, like I'm smitten, so. So, so I'm not, I'm hearing, but I'm not listening, isn't it? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yep. I think we, we talked about the cast without talking about the cast. So, so there's that. We don't need to get into the cast. I think we can call it a day now, isn't it, Jojo? I think so too. I think so too. I just, I, I really wholeheartedly recommend this movie. And if you're somebody who would normally heart, st not be interested in something that you feel like might be gory, um, it, I think this movie is worth powering through, uh, because it's, it's, it has so much to say. Yeah. And, and I don't necessarily think that 
there's anything that will gross you up, but because there's more references than than visuals, isn't it? Yes, it's very much so. Very much so. It's I I appreciated that about yes. it because the 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 human flesh part to me was very clinical. Um, yes. yes, very very clinical. Yes, and uh, I think that felt like quite a, kind of a nod the fact that he's a, a plastic surgeon, um, but the i think that towards the end there is a gory part and uh so but it's not it's not that bad no, if you haven't good. done if you haven't done anything to be worried about somebody attacking your max masculinity this won't bother you no no i mean if you live through the 90s and lorena bobby then you're fine now you'll be fine so, you'll be fine. right so um we do recommend this 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 movie uh, an, an hour 55 minutes is an absolutely fantastic movie to watch it's a good watch with company without company and uh, the cast is beautiful it's brilliant sebastian stan here is great he is great he, he really really found the, the sweet spot for this character he really really did he really did because he makes you laugh when you shouldn't be laughing and it's a genuine laughter. I mean, it's, yeah. it's, it's, he's just, he's, he's brilliant in this. Yes. Yes. We are going to, again, call it a day for today. And, uh, we hope you enjoy the movie. We also hope that you've enjoyed our take on it. Right. Yes. That's right. Yes. So for me and for Jojo, this is the time we say goodbye. Bye everybody. Thank you.